Hello everyone, welcome back. So in my last tutorial, I showed you how to do uh, K-main K -main clustering and I showed this uh, in my previous uh, tutorial. For that, what we did was we used this uh, uh, five uh, variables, uh, long distance last month, toll free last month, equipment last month, calling card last month and wireless last month. And before we did we did that we convert this um, uh, original scale into a Z scores. Um, if the scales are in the same measurement, same unit, then you don't need to do it that. Uh, normally we convert into Z score because we want to make sure that all measurements are in the same scale. So Z score standardize the scales and 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 uh, and then we got these three clusters okay uh, so that's the that's what we did in the last week now the next next thing is this is to understand about this cluster what this cluster is all about let me quickly run a frequency of this cluster and just to recall uh, what we did last week so we ran cluster analysis using k-mean method and we got this uh, three clusters okay so now you probably remember now so we have uh, for the cluster one we have 57.6 percent two is 79.1 percent and three is 23.3 percent so that many people we have so obviously uh, next thing we want to know is who are this cluster who are these customers uh, so we can understand more about them and and, uh, and able to serve them better so next step after cluster analysis is to do a uh, segment profiling so we can profile them okay so before we do profiling and uh, uh, it's, it's very important for us to know what, what type of variables do we have and and you can see that this particular data set has quite quite few, few of uh, very interesting variables of course the one thing you definitely want to do is just to understand your those three cluster by this five variable you use so they, so you can see that um, which cluster is more in one uh, one of those variables or less so that we have a little bit of understanding so um, so we're going to do that I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, and also this as I mentioned this this data file has other variables like for example it has an age so age is a definitely the important variables to understand the customers and it also has a, another interesting variable called household income so that we can also understand the household income of our cluster and it also has some other variables such as uh, whether um, whether the uh, whether the person uh, is retired or not retired, for example, and that's also very interesting. It also has a level of education, uh, whether the person is um, the education. There also another variable called marital status. Uh, so these are also uh, useful variables we have. So, um, so again, uh, as I mentioned in my previous tutorial, it's always a very good idea to have a good understanding what variables you have and think about when you are um, trying to profile them what variable the what what type of variable will be a good variable uh, to profile your customers um, so that you understand them better and uh, and, uh, and and in terms of um, creating the package for your customers that you have a better understanding so that you can create a better package uh, of course as you can see that it, it has so many other variables it doesn't mean that you have to eat each, each and every variables but something uh, you can decide and, and of course, because you have uh, this uh, software, uh, you have this variable, you can always run uh, some profiling um, uh, analysis and then see which variable you want to include or which variable do you not, do you not want to include. So first thing what I'm going to do is this is I'm going to quickly uh, run uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, three clusters we ran, uh, okay? And I'm going to run it them by this uh, five variable you use, this five, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's we said. Uh, how do we compare this cluster, uh, this uh, our three cluster by this uh, five variable we use for our cluster analysis? So, uh, so SPSS has some great tools and they're easy to use them. One of the tools here it has the compare mean. So I'm just going to select the mean here. Okay. Um, and remember, when we're using a mean, uh, make sure that the variables you're using are measurement in scale. Okay. So I'm going to select here and I'm going to uh, select the, my cluster uh, uh, here as a an independent list so I can see that how those um, uh, variables 
values of these variables are by those um, those three clusters so one two three four five so we have this uh, wireless service uh, long dis uh, long distance and um, toll free equipment last month and calling card okay one two three four five uh, this these fives okay this these are five so long distance uh, toll free equipment calling cards okay so I select those five and you notice that all those five variables are the scale the scales um, mean they either be a um, ratio level interval level of data um, given these are the dollar values I'm assuming they're dollar values how much money they spend on these services so it will be ratio level data okay and uh, yeah and then you go on option and uh, and again I'm not really uh, too I'm not too really concerned about all the type of statistics I'm just want to see the mean value so I'm just left the mean here you don't need to check all of those things on our table because we already have when we ran the k-min clustering we already went through the ANOVA table so we don't need to do all those things again we just want to see the mean value okay so continue and we say okay right so we ran this thing it's uh, uh, this is what we're interested in okay this is just a pro uh, case processing summary that's not something you need to worry about but this is something very interesting okay so uh, and this is something now what you need to do just is to keep some um, um, paper and uh, paper handy so they uh, you can keep making notes you know you notice that uh, cluster uh, so average for for all the group for the long distance last month is uh, 11 dollars okay 11.7 all right but you notice that the the most money spent by cluster three and long distance okay so that's interesting characteristics we're noticing that okay and the least amount of money spent by cluster one okay and and the toll free last month uh, you notice that uh, the, the the total the average for the all customer was 13 dollars if you compare by the segment you notice that cluster three spent the most money 27 dollars and cluster and cluster two so they're not too apart from each other uh, but the cluster one is the least on the toll free you notice that again right however equipment last month which is very interesting you notice that the the total for the all all cases are 14 but look at the cluster number two they spent 43 dollars the most and the least was spent by the cluster three right so you start seeing some interesting insight here and um, and the calling card last month again we do notice that the cluster three is using uh, pretty much um, the most uh, and the least is one by num number one and the wireless last month is spent by the cluster number two. So you see, starts noticing an interesting pattern here. Of course, the least one is spent by the cluster number one. It's only one dollar five, uh, one point five uh, eight three. Okay, and whereas the average for the whole for whole cases is eleven point five eight. So, but well, as I said, uh, cluster number two has the most forty two uh, forty two dollars, right? So cluster number two seems to be the spend most on the wireless uh, on the wireless and equipment and equipment uh, um, uh, rentals. So that's very interesting you notice that and whereas the long distance and toll free seems to be the case and the calling card seems to be the case for cluster number three whereas the cluster number one seems to be like a very basic uh, kind of a uh, kind of a kind of a stuff so from there you can uh, make some sort of a conclusion you could something say that okay cluster one is a very basic type of customers we have because they seems to be kind of using a all of them but using a very little services and uh, and you notice that is the um, whereas the cluster number two uh, has equipment and wireless so uh, so um, uh, what type of uh, services perhaps would be more like um, um, I'm coming coming short of the word maybe some sort of plus services because they're talking about this but uh, but if you look at the cluster number three seems to be uh, they are spending a more on a calling or long distance so uh, so uh, you can think of some term what's the best way to describe them is like a um, like total package or perhaps the um, uh, um, long distance seems like long distance is seems to be the um, 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 most concerned for these customers now why I'm saying that is uh, of course I'm describing this cluster on a fly uh, 
but normally you spend some time and think about it what's the best way to describe these clusters okay so a naming cluster is also a little bit more uh, a creative exercise because you should be careful about when you come up some names but that's how you probably do it okay so now we have some good understanding about our cluster the next thing I uh, so okay so next thing I want to uh, do is this is to uh, run some more um, some more mean and now what I just what I just ran was to look at look at those five variables we used to cluster so we can understand each cluster uh, by total for each cases then we can see each cluster values and now I want to run a few more mean but not for our main variables we use for cluster analysis but some other variables like for example um, uh, let's say the age of the customer because we know the age of customers are the very important variable and the household income right and and again I do the same thing again and here it is right so the uh, the average age for all customer is 41.68 okay and you see that is the cluster number three is the oldest I mean 48 uh, it's not really very old but among comparing all three of them it seems the oldest group right and, and remember these are the group who who wanted the more long distance uh, features right and if you see that cluster number one it's the youngest group is 39 right and these are customers who did very basic uh, services okay and cluster number two if you remember these customers are doing a, um, a rentals uh, for example equipment rentals okay and uh, and and if you look at the income which which start giving a better perspective the the group number three uh, who is spending way more money on the long distance they make over hundred thousand dollar you see where the o average for the everyone is seventy seven thousand right but cluster number three has a least income is sixty three thousand where cluster number two has eighty eight point nine thousand dollar income right so that kind of start giving us some perspective who we're dealing with them. So it seems to be cluster one who using very basic service generally are um, youngest group of people, whereas the group who use spending way more money on the long distance and, and, that, and the toll free and calling cards are the generally are the, uh, are the older people and have very high income and the cluster number two, uh, uh, they are the middle, middle age uh, and they have an income of 88,000. These are the people who are spending a lot of money on rentals okay so you start getting some some more understanding about your clusters now uh now so so when i ran the mean remember that you can you only run the mean for the uh, skill variables and we also notice that we also have a lots of um, um, nominal variables so to understand nominal variables so uh, spaces are another good tool called cross tab okay and uh, and uh, get your um, cluster analysis on the column and then uh, some of the variables you are interested in uh, so we can we can go we can we can go and um, uh, collect some of those variables and you can see that they have a lot of other variables for example um, whether the person is uh, retired or not uh, not retired for example you can see this one right uh, they also has a um, uh, for example so I'm going to select the retired for example they also have a uh, level of education for example they also have marital status okay so I'm just going to select this uh, very quickly and um, and and I just want to um, uh, you can say okay I want to see uh, counts you can also look at the column counts as well for example and if you want to see that if uh, if uh, this if the variable selected are significant or not so I just check on the chi-square okay and uh, of course you can always look for the bar chart and you can by clicking this bar chart so so I just ran this uh, chi-square and really I'm, all, all I'm really interested is in uh, in the characteristic remember we try to understand who these variables are so uh, so we are looking by the retirement whether the person is retired or not retired for example and you notice that is the um, um, seems to be cluster number one has the most retired people 11 percent compared to cluster one and two right and um, and and these are the remember these are these are these are the groups uh, who who has the most income and spend most money on the long distance right and of course you can see the uh, the p value for the chi square is also significant so this is a significant variable is telling us and so that again give you a little bit more perspective uh, whom we're dealing with when come to come to customers okay and this is education level also okay 
and you can see that this education level is also significant the p-value is less than five percent significant and uh, and if you're looking at the education for example is uh, you notice that is the um, uh, cluster number uh, three did not complete high school education it's like 27 percent right where the cluster number two has the least number so it's okay so, so when you keep scrolling down you see look at the, the college degree cluster number two has the most college degree for example whereas the cluster number three has the least college degree okay and again if you notice the post undergraduate post undergraduate degree for example like uh, uh, again cluster number two are the most educated so of course we're dealing with the cluster number two are the educated group uh, has the most high, uh, highest level education and whereas cluster number three seems to be the uh, seems to be the less and and then the cluster number two cluster number one is uh, is the second most educated group right so to kind of give you a little more understanding again this is also significant as well you can see that right and marital status uh, uh, again you can see that again uh, this uh, uh, this variable is significant it's less than five percent but what you what interesting thing you notice that is is um, the cluster number what well, three is the most married 50 55.8 percent almost like 56 percent and followed by the cluster number two and the cluster number one is the least married uh, group of people and if you remember this um, uh, group well, of a relatively young group of people uh, had used basic surveys and um, so again uh, what again when you run these tests make sure you keep note of this uh, stuff of course you can always copy and paste your analysis so that give you some understanding when you talk about your cluster who these clusters are and yeah so this is all uh, when it comes to the uh, profiling your clusters uh, so good luck with this and try your own data and um, and have fun with this